In today's video, I am sharing how I separate the silver button from relay contacts. Here are the relay contact. The silver button. And separating these silver buttons can be difficult. If you use any pliers to separate it, it might require extra force. And sometimes the silver button could be lost because of the pressure. So I made something manually to save some extra work. And if you like it, you could try it and watch how easily it gets the work done. The amount of silver buttons I separated so far I sorted the brass and the copper relay contact after removing the buttons in two separate slots. This is what I made for the work. I took a wood piece and made a hole in it, and over it I attached an aluminum sheet and hammered to fit the size of the hole. I did this to smoothen out the surface. You can make the size of the hole bigger as you want. Luckily, I happen to have a nail cutter that has holes that are perfectly the same size of the buttons. As for you, you can find a stainless steel scale and make holes the size of those buttons. The silver buttons perfectly fit this holes. Opening the lever. I'm using the steel plate bar with holes in it that I've found in my house. I'm going to secure the lever with adhesive tape over the steel plate bar. Now I'm securing it with the wood with a screw. Now placing the buttons on the hole and hammer it slowly. See how easily it gets removed. After hammering, the buttons don't get lost because of the protective seal of the steel plate bar. Thank you for watching.